It actually came about as kind of an accident. My mom used to race downhill mountain bikes and we were always in and out of bike shops. And then I started riding mountain bikes and I never raced. She was dating a dude who worked at a bike shop and he pushed me a little BMX bike and he's like, hey, why don't you try this thing? And at first it looked really silly compared to a mountain bike. And I'll never forget that. It was a Chrome GT Dyno. There was something so real about how that felt. And bike riding just became more and more of a predominant thing in my life. I've always played sports with our friends and stuff. We all started riding bikes together. Our coaches started being really upset because we would come to practice limping or we'd have a swollen shin or a bloody shin. And he's like, what are you guys doing outside of basketball? Like we're supposed to have a good season this year. And I remember being really intimidated to want to speak my mind, but I was already finding my uniqueness because of my bike, because the bike is just you. No one else can ride for you. And when you hear this coach of yours tell you that you should stop doing things that make you feel good and our activities, it really sucked. And I told myself internally, I'm not playing competitive sports anymore. And that was in eighth grade. I saw the exclusion to a traditional minded person. And I didn't enjoy that because I saw the inclusion of all activities. It's gotten to a point now where I travel specifically for the bike and not just the bike was there while I was traveling, so might as well ride. Now I travel specifically to go ride. That was where the mountains and the clouds and the wheel that's kind of wandering through the world, that's where that hair tie specifically came from. That, that design of just always wanting to be on the road and find the next spot to session. With the chain aspect, that's one of the main things that is holding the bike together and that is propelling you. So I love just thinking about a chain and using your own body to move that chain. And I just love the idea of linking together instead of being so separate. If you use your bike once a week, just for fun, going around a track, you're a part of bike life. Bike life is a reality for you. That's just encompassing everyone who rolls on a bike. This could even be about motorcycles. Bike life is all about your way of living your life and incorporating bicycles with them. Life can get pretty hard, pretty quick, and it's easy to dwell. But you gotta also just pay attention to what you actually have. I've done a lot of really wild stuff, but I had to go through some shit in order to really discover myself. So what I'm discovering now is like, I just need to be able to rely on the experiences that I've been through in order to keep propelling me to the future and not just give up and throw in the towel. It's amazing how far two wheels can take you. They call me Ratty Matty, and this is Bike Life. <laughs>